Hello there guys, Fleep here. Um, so this is a quick video um, before I actually show you the whole tutorial. I am recording this after filming the whole tutorial. Um, just a few things I'd like to let you know quite quickly. Um, basically the tutorial is altogether about five and a half hours long. So it is a quite a big tutorial. Um, so I recommend you, so it's going to be many videos. I haven't uploaded them yet so I won't know exactly how many but it will be quite a few of them so they will be in a playlist organized and stuff so um, I recommend that you um, obviously take a few breaks throughout no one's going to sit five and a half hours um, straight away um, another thing uh, if you do complete the tutorial please let me know leave a comment uh, but that's if you actually because uh, I want to know um, not if you download the solution and make it run because I actually want to know if um, if you're able to complete it if you're here out of nowhere uh, basically I am teaching people how to do this game from scratch, the whole game. Um, if you would like to see this whole game and download a copy of it uh, to try it for yourself, click on the, um, make sure you got annotations on, click on the screen and go to that page which shows you the full demo of the game and you can download the demo from that description as well. Um, I'll put the demo on this description as well in case you want to just download it and try it out. Um, what else? So. Uh, throughout the tutorial, my mic is uh, isn't great uh, because, um, well, at the beginning it isn't great. You can hear me fairly well, but there's a lot of bumping on the mic and so on. Halfway, uh, about a quarter through the tutorial, that goes away, and you will be able to hear me better. So yeah, this is about it, guys. I pretty sure this is all I wanted to tell you. Um, so also, there's some mistakes throughout the um, the tutorial so whenever there's a mistake I will fix it for you and I'll show you where to fix it and so on so just if you have a mistake and your game isn't running well odds are is I'm gonna fix it with you if you have any mistakes and um, I haven't fixed them for you uh, basically odds are it's on your end that the mistake is happening now feel free to leave a comment or inbox me I usually prefer if people leave comments because then I provide a fix and then I don't get asked about that um, all the time again so and if you do leave a comment please uh, check out on that page if there were, has been the same question before because on my last tutorial I had about four or five questions on one or two of the pages and they were exactly the same question I I was forced to answer them a ton of times so please just check quickly um, to make sure that question hasn't been answered either way uh, thanks for being here guys um, if you bear with me I guarantee you'll have this game fully done uh, collision sounds, uh, everything pretty much going, um, and that's about it. So have, I wish you good luck with the tutorial, and um, let me know how it goes at the end. See ya. Hello there, internets. Uh, this is Philippe here, and today I'm going to give you the tutorial I've been talking to you about for quite a while. Uh, I'm going to start it now. It's going to take quite a while, I believe. Uh, we're talking about a few hours. I can't tell you for sure until I'm finished with it, but um, it will take a while. So let's get on with it. Um, a few things, I've got my mic set up a bit differently so uh, there's a small chance you're going to hear me breathe a few times I know that's quite annoying, I don't like hearing it like myself but uh, sometimes that will come up and uh, that's the cost of um, hearing my voice well I think, hopefully that's what it will be anyway um, so basically I've gone over this I've, I've made a series of steps so we can do this and save you as much time as possible whilst I, I explain pretty much everything that we do um, there will be problems along the way, so um, you know there's a chance you'll have questions and whatnot. Um, if you have problems, you get stuck. If you get really stuck, uh, some people on the last one asked me for help, and uh, I helped them out with the source and stuff. So I solved problems for them and whatnot. Obviously, I can't solve everything, but most problems I should be able to help you out with. Um, but the code is pretty stable, um, so as long as you copy exactly as I do, you'll be fine. Um, this is mostly for those of you that um, you know you struggle a bit with this. Uh, you want to know what's going on, not just get a bunch of code and just stick it in somewhere and just run it because um, you'll end up trying to do something yourself and uh, it'll go out the window. And uh, also, this will give you a good foundation for you to make your own. So we'll do Mario, uh, but you could do your own, um, you know, your own tile-based 2D platformer. So it could be uh, Mega Man, anything like that all up to you though. Um, my thoughts on doing this compared to the um, first person shooter this was a bit more work because uh, first person shooter was just the basics this is a whole game so also um, I'm not a very big fan of 2D games now um, I think they're, they're quite 
stupid to do. Maybe there's better ways of doing it. Doing it. There are other ways than tiles, but it is a very annoying thing. Um, it's good that you write your own physics, your own uh, most of your own collision anyway. That's a good thing because you can just move it to XNA or C++ later on. That's always a good thing. Uh, not depending too much on Dark GDK. Anyways, we're gonna get started started with this. So in your description, you've got uh, a list of files. Actually, you should have a, a link to download a zip file. So here's what's going to be in that zip file. So have it downloaded it, get everything, and just extract it outside, so we can move the fly the files about. So get rid of that. So uh, first thing we're going to do is, um, well, I'm going to tell you that unlike the um, first-person shooter game, this uh, has classes. The reason for that is because we have a fair bit more code, and classes will help out. Um, I'm not great at using classes. I've used them a bit in C sharp and stuff. I haven't used them too much in C++. But you know, I've I've spread out the code. Um, I think I think I've done it in a fairly nice way. Um, here you've got four folders. You've got um, you know all the animations that I set up. Um, you got a ton of different stuff. You got um, you know Mario animations here, uh, and you've got sounds as well. A list of sounds that I went and got off the internet. Uh, basically everything that you need to do the game is here so we're going to get started with it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our um, we're going to start this and we're going to create our project uh, apologies on us damn it there's a bit of swearing here but that's because I was a bit mad at um, some work I was doing earlier don't worry about that um, so we create a new project and we're going to create a w from the wizard here as usual and just make a dark gdk game mine I'm going to call mine uh, Mario tutorial YouTube. You guys can just call it Mario Clone C++. Up to you. Um, so we we just click OK. Uh, I've got this weird folder here, but that doesn't matter. Actually, what I'll do, I can leave that there. I think. Can I? No. Just choose a different folder. Um, so just go for the default folder for me. Um, you guys are probably going to go for the same there. I do this because um, I'm doing some other work on that. So basically, we've got a new project. Do we have a new project? Is that right? We are not getting our new project for some reason. Let's just go view Solution Explorer. Oh, here's our good stuff. So here you should have your main .c++. So what we're going to need is we're going to import all the um, all the header files. Now all our classes. I've given you the files. I haven't written all the code in there <coughs> except for two classes, um, as I'll show you as we do that. So first we're going to just um, get all these files. Don't include that folder, obviously. So copy that. Go here, my documents. Um, this is where mine is. You might have a different folder, so make sure you remember that for when you started your project. So my Visual Studio 2008 projects, and I'm looking for Mario Tutorial YouTube, and there it is. We go once again, and now the folder where you've got your main. This is where you're gonna dump pretty much everything. So paste all that. So you've got all your folders and all your classes, and we're gonna import those now. So we're gonna close this because we are, we shouldn't need this for quite a while. I'm going to import our classes. So, uh, project, add existing item, and what we're going to do is going to add all this. Uh, so, add all these classes pretty much. Now, actually, this is bad practice. I don't want you guys doing this because it's end up doing importing something that's highly unwanted. So, make sure you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be nine classes there. Yep. That seems fair enough to me. Do not import main because that's what you've already got there. So you add those and you've got them in your program now, in your solution. So you've got that. Now what we want, um, in my opinion, this code is usually quite, it annoys me for some reason because it's very basic stuff and um, we don't want this here. Just very simple. Anyways, um, make sure I didn't leak anything good. Um, so what I'm going to tell you about is basically two of the classes have got all the code that we need in them. Now, those two classes are, well, they're highly unwanted um, because, as I'll show you, so it's a lot of rep repetition. Um, all we've got in this one, you can really consider it a class in a good uh, scenario. You'd um, obviously do all the variables along with whether necessary, but I'm not very comfortable with variables for C++ yet, so I didn't like this. So basically how this works is, if you watch my um, my previous video you'll see that I explained how the tile system works. I'll explain throughout the, the tutorial anyway. So um, 
basically all these variables declared here, most of them, the defined ones anyway, I'm using them in the tile map, um, which is another thing that I've already done for you because I couldn't have you writing the whole map out uh, manually because it's a lot of work. Um, so basically as you see here, um, I've, I've copied the one with comments already and stuff so that's qu quite helpful I think. Uh, so just read through them. Um, and just you'll know exactly what it does. So you've got like normal Mario and Fire Mario. So once we pick up a flower, we'll turn into Fire Mario and so on. Um, for example, the M here is where we put Mario on the map to spawn him, um, as I'll show you in a second. So basically, this class is done because it's just basically defining variables. Now you guys don't really care about that or shouldn't anyway, because it's very simple stuff. What I'm going to show you is the actual more difficult stuff of um, basically. Um, Sorry, I just got stuck here for a second thinking about this. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the more complex stuff of uh, displaying the map, uh, putting some physics, well, looking like physics, on the player, on the enemies, and so on. So, here it's struct. We didn't use a struct on our last um, tutorial. Now, structs, um, I don't know how to explain these, but they're basically like classes. So, think of this as a whole class, and each of this each of these is a variable. So extra animations we create an array of that, which is what we're going to do later on. And this is used, um, so for example, to put animations on a coin box when you bump it, um, and that way it will make the coin appear above in spin, which is a fairly cool thing. So basically, for every array, for every element within the array we create these, we'll have every single one of these variables and you'll see once we start using them they're, they're fairly straightforward they're not too difficult even if you don't understand them just keep following and you'll um, if you don't understand at the end anyway I don't mind explaining more in depth but it doesn't matter too much because you'll be writing the code along with me and you should be alright um, walking and this is for the Goombas animation so we got for example 10 Goombas obviously we can't keep 10 different IDs 10 different type of actually sorry it's not Goombas it's walkers so, at the moment we've only got we're gonna only have Goombas, but we could have turtles later on. So we use type off to define that. We got things such as is alive, touching ground, uh, just things to check and do things about them. Uh, for example, if he's not touching the ground, move him down until he's touching the ground, and so on. So obviously, I don't want to go too in much into depth here. We're gonna lose a lot of time um, as there's a lot of stuff to do and to cover so the other the second class that I uh, pretty much have done for you is the one I was telling you about is the one with the um, the one with the uh, map here so as you can see here this is our map now as I mentioned on the um, on the uh, demonstration the video the Mario um, basically um, if you guys want you know I'd, I'd definitely like to do this but prefer to get some feedback before I do it in case people don't really care about it. Um, I can make a map editor, well I don't know if I can but I'll, I can try um, later on. So basically instead of having to write every map, the way we're going to design the game we can have many levels, that's not a problem. Um, basically we can have um, many maps and instead of having to design every map thingy by thingy so the way this works for example I put an M here that means that's where Mario will spawn I put a B uh, means a brick box uh, so when he bumps against it, it just smashes QC question uh, coin box so basically that's about it and there's so on so here's Caesar clouds a big Caesar coin um, and um, yeah this is it pretty much so what I can do or I can attempt later on after we finish this if you guys are interested I can make a map editor I'll I'll do it in Dark GDK as well because um, I'm not that familiar with other languages other than C sharp and a bit of C and C plus plus. Um, so what I'll do is I can do that, and then that way all you do is you like just look up a normal map editor, and you, I'm sure you guys know what it's like. You just drag the stuff, drag a break, put it on the screen, and so on. And that way you just save the file, and then you have this done automatically for you. We could try and make that, and then if I do complete that, I can tell you guys and teach you guys how to make it, or just give you the solution. It doesn't really matter. So I think that's quite a good thing to learn um, because you can make maps really quickly, change anything you like and so on. And if the code here is good, obviously, w I hope that it is, uh, then we can uh, make quite good improvements and stuff and just make maps within minutes instead of a few hours writing this crap. So here, the other code that I did here, it's not really that relevant, but... Um, I'll take you through it as we need it a bit more, but basically all this does is it goes through the pioneers, um the plants, 
puts them apart so that we can later check the distance.